Our guest today has been entering her daughter in beauty pageants since she was just three months old. And she says that beauty pageants just aren't being accurately portrayed in the media. She says for her family, the last year has really been a positive experience. Kelly Urian is in the studio with us today. Kelly, thank you so much for being here to talk thank about you. your daughter, Gianna. Thank you. How did you first get the idea to enter Gianna in a beauty pageant? Well, actually, when I was still pregnant with Gianna and we found out, my husband and I found out we were having a little girl, we started watching a lot of toddlers and tiaras, believe it or not. And we vowed that we would not be one of those families and that we would not do beauty pageants. And basically, one of my first outings after uh, Gianna was born was to the Richland Mall. And lo and behold, I saw a flyer that said they were having a beauty pageant that following weekend. And so my husband thought I was crazy, but off we entered her into the beauty pageant. She was the youngest baby there at three months old, um, but she won first runner up and we were hooked ever since. And uh, hooked since then. But you did have some concerns. You said you'd seen the Tellers and Tiara yes. show. After that first pageant, did you encounter any of that kind of behavior? Nothing like that at the first pageant. And actually we didn't encounter anything like that until we had been competing probably five or six pageants into the system. Still nothing to the extreme that you would see on television. Mm. There are so many different pageants and pageant systems you can get involved in. How did you decide, how did you figure out where you would enter your baby? Um, it took a, a little bit of time actually. The first pageant we entered was um, more of a natural system um, and it was fun but it, it really didn't have a, a tremendously professional feel to it. Hmm. So I just did a little research on the internet. Um, there's lots of research available on Facebook and we found uh, the Universal Royalty Pageant System which is actually based out of Austin. Um, that is a semi to full glitz system. Um, they guarantee lots of uh, media coverage um, and that's that's been our main system. We also do uh, Fabulous Faces and Southern Celebrity that are based out of Temple. So they are more of a semi-glitz uh, system. And when I say glitz systems, we're talking about the, the type of competition to wear, um, what type of dresses they're wearing, if you see contestants wearing hair pieces, makeup, things like that. One of the things that you hear a lot of the controversy and the things that people don't like about the beauty pageant systems is how expensive it can be. Is that something that your family's encountered? Yes, pageants can be very expensive, um, but you also, you just have to know what your budget is. Um, typically, there is a base package when you are registering your child for a pageant and that basically contains um, beauty wear. Anything such as photogenic, portfolio, cover model, theme wear, outfit of choice, all of those are optional events. So that's something that a family may choose to participate in or not participate in. But ultimately that will not determine if a contestant wins queen, first runner-up, or supreme. Beauty wear is the main competition. Why is beauty pageant something that you want your daughter to be involved in? It was something that she and I could share together. Um, I've never been involved in sports growing up. I'm really not an athletic person, so this is something that I felt comfortable with and something that we could share together. Um, and actually, her dad joins in. Um, at first, he was he was very hesitant about it, um, but now he's the first one to post picture, you know, pictures on Facebook and say, "My baby won queen." So um, it's just something we can do as a family. And do you think this will be something that Gianna continues as she becomes a teenager and a young adult? If she would like to continue that, our plan is to to move forward with it. If she comes to me says she's really not interested or I see that she's not showing any interest then we'll stop um, but the pageant systems actually can produce a lot of opportunities. Um, Gianna has actually been able to do a little bit of modeling uh, for one of our boutiques in Saronia's um, Dazzle. She's um, actually done some hair accessory modeling for them. So um, I think the pageant system can, can offer a lot of opportunity. Well, Kelly, I sure do appreciate you coming and kind of showing the different side of this coin. We've got more to talk about. When we come back, Kelly is gonna show us one of the secrets of the beauty pageant world and why she's decided not to put makeup on her little girl.